Hey guys, good morning. It's a Sunday morning and we're at home. Got back from the claim last week. We're pretty tired and uh, I have a new piece of equipment that I ordered a couple weeks ago from uh, Geo Sluice Mining. Let's take a look at it. We've got the Geo Banker, it's called, and uh, the box is about 48 inches long. It's got a series of different riffles compared to the mini high banker. It's got a couple little ones up front here, a wider one right here, and then it's got a couple big V-channel riffles that slow the flow down, then it's got another series of five there, and then where the material drops in, it's got these little dimples to help break up the material. Spray bar is different. It's a circular with water shooting out all the 360 degrees instead of just out of one area. Then also up here on the hopper, it's got a <coughs> nugget traps here. So this is going to be pretty cool. Still has a 3 8 punch plate and see how these are riveted in. We're going to see how it does without uh, changing these over to uh, nylon screws. But uh, it's all ready to go and we've got it hooked up to a speed controller that uh, Mike over in vet at Vendetta's uh, prospecting made for me. So uh, we're going to go ahead and fire this up and see how it uh, catches the gold. We got material here. This is from our hillside claim group and we're going to see what we catch in this. And uh, let's go ahead and get her fired up and see what we can find. Looks pretty good, the flow of the water going across there. This is an 1100 GPH pump. Tripod got hung up there, sorry. You guys can see the jets, how they uh, it's going to break that material down a lot better. This material that we're running has got a lot of clay. Weeks ago and we thought that uh, I thought I would go ahead and give this a shot. Now this has got little clods of material here that I don't know if this is going to break down or not. This is material I a lot of times I go ahead and pre-soak, and I may have to end up doing that here. I think I will. So I'll bring you guys back after I get this material soaked up here. We got it all cleaned up. Now let's go ahead and run that, guys. Try this, uh, try this new sluice out here. We got it uh, screened down to quarter minus. And this is the first run of any material I put through it, so we're going to see how it does. Now it's just a like a sand mixture here. Get rid of all the major rocks. I wanted something that I could feed more material through that would clean it a little bit better and this material is just so bad it doesn't matter what you would use you would have to still pre-clean it pre-wet it because the material is all stuck to the rocks out of the earth so looks pretty good so far we'll see what we catch Trying to feed that at a steady rate. This is more in line with uh, the high bankers I've used in the past on 
creeks here in the desert that have the big hopper box with the spray bar that goes all the way around instead of just a single spray bar. Looks like I'm losing some water off the back there. Probably want to catch that. When I'm out in the field, I want to be able to use the water, all the water I can, and I don't want to lose any water. You see these riffles here, how they are going to catch any big nuggets here right off the bat. Probably it'll catch more than just nuggets. It'll probably catch whatever gold gets stuck there, I imagine. Doesn't have to be a nugget. This is going to be able to handle a lot more material. Really breaks that uh, material up. Of course, it's already pre-wetted, but it's still doing a good job of mixing it all up in the flow of water there. Pretty cool little speed controller that Mike over at Vendetta's made for me. I think I've got it turned all the way up right now. As they say you can run this machine on 2200 GPH, which is double this. through the material. Had to pre-wet it. It's too clay too hard. A little bit bigger, <laughs> quite a bit bigger. Those are pretty deep riffles. Those are a lot deeper than the little mini. I'm just wondering if I have any. bigger pan. I'll use a panning tub next thing. Mortar pan. A lot of black sand.
Okay, this is the uh, material from the riff of the hopper riffles. Kinds of gold in there. It's littered all throughout the black sands. That's pretty cool. There we go. Wow. Pretty good. So that's from the hopper box riffles. Pretty nice. I like it. Now I'm curious to see what's in the box. There's, I don't know, there's probably a hundred pieces in there. Very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and pan out the uh, sluice box now. So there's a little smile there of the gold that we got. Not, not too bad, guys. Okay, this next batch is from the sluice box and there's a lot of material that it caught so I had to break it down into two pans here float it away pretty good a lot of black sands A lot of black sands. Wow. Liking that. Cool, cool. Well, guys, it's uh, catching the gold. I don't know how much it lost, if any. Michael, there's some black sands for you. Hey guys, that's uh, out of the sluice box. Pretty darn good. And then we're going to go through these uh, black sands here again because I'm sure that there's other stuff that's in there. And these, this is some pretty chunky stuff here too. Very nice. Okay, bring you back. You got the gold cube fired up. Four stage gold cube, we're gonna run the tailings that we just got out of the new Geo Banker. And we've got the screen down to eighth inch minus. We're gonna run it through the gold cube. See what, if anything, we lost. <laughs> Look at these suds. <laughs> oh, 
wow, I'll take a bubble bath. There's the top tree. care what tray it's going to be in. I just want to know if the gold cube is going to catch any. That's a geobanker miss. tray Okay, we got the cons in the pan here from the gold cube. There's all those black sands, wow. Black Sand City. is there's the there's the catch of the day right here one minus 50 maybe where is it right there well I don't know about you guys but I think that's a pretty good test that we did running the geobanker and then we ran tailings of that through the four stage gold cube, screened down to one eighth minus, and we ended up losing in the geobanker, it looks like a minus 50, maybe minus 60 piece of gold. I can live with that, guys. There's really gonna be no piece of equipment that can get everything, and I think that the geobanker did a pretty darn good job, so pretty pleased with it. And uh, let me show you what we ended up with uh, all together. So that's everything that the geobanker recovered out of that uh, three gallon bucket of material we ran after it was all reduced down. And some of this fine stuff here, this is super fine flower gold. It's got to be minus 100 mesh easily. I don't even know if I can pick it up, but uh, if you guys can even see it, but. It's just all scattered in here. So I would say that uh, GeoBanker is a success. And not only that, but uh, this bucket was a huge success. I love that. So I need to find like 100 more of these buckets. That'd be awesome. So that's it, guys. That's the uh, conclusion of the 
video right now and uh, we're going to be doing some more tests of the geobanker coming up so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one